Genies are evil. And their wishes bring about nothing but misery. Uh, I see what's happening here. The uh, wandering Ronin genie is angry with Harlan for killing her master. That's why she prevented him from finding a limb. Yeah, a castle. The man is either delusional or he's laying the groundwork for some BS insanity plea. What's your excuse? Let's talk about Lars and how you chopped his head off with a sword. No, 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 no. I didn't kill him, okay? I was at my mom's birthday party when he got murdered. Man, check it out. I'm sure whoever took Lars' head off is coming from mine next. Really? Why is that? I know too much. Me and Lars, we met on the job in Turkey, okay? And then one day, after I started on search for oil pockets, Lars came to me. He was all excited. Because he found the location of King Solomon's tomb, and you used your skills as an excavator to help him dig no, it up. No, no, it wasn't that easy. We needed money to do it safely, okay? So Lars, he found some guy. He offered us 250 Ks each in cash to do the dig. The catch was, if we found something, well, Lars had to ship it to the guy who's here in New York. Okay, so who is this financier? I don't know. Look, the money was too good, so I didn't ask any questions. I, I, I wish I did, though, because opening that tomb was the worst thing that had happened to us. I mean, <laughs> the moment we took that lamp, that genie unleashed its vengeance, man. You can't honestly be trying to tell us that you saw a genie. No, but genies can choose to appear or not to appear to anyone they want. That's true. Professor Baker told me that, and she's a doctor, so... But, guys... I didn't believe in genies either, okay? Until my life fell apart. I found my girlfriend in bed with my roommate. And then I stayed with my mom, and my mom accidentally threw out the duffel bag with my 250 Gs. You know, and when I think that things, they, they can't get any worse, I found out the last guy, his head lopped off. And now that genie, that crazy evil genie's after me, man, I know it. Okay, hon, I'm gonna have to get you off the crazy train here right now. Yeah, we know that the shipment got screwed up and, and you suspected that Lars double-crossed you. What? No! No, Lars did not double-cross me. He got double-crossed by the shipper. Okay, well, really the smuggler. You can't just walk past customs with priceless relics and expect no one to notice, right? So, so Lars hired a guy back in Turkey to ship the items back. What was his name? I don't know. I do know, hold on. I do, I do know that he lied to the shipper. Okay, he told him it was just mining equipment. The only thing was that one from his crew jimmed the crate and uh, found the artifacts. Let me guess, the shipper started seeing dollar signs. Yeah, and then he demanded 400 grand in cash just to release the shipment. That explains the cash we found in Lars' safe deposit. Right, right, but how the hell did Lars get his hands on 400,000 bucks? Don't, don't say that he wished for it. He probably got the money from the financier. But, but, but the one thing that doesn't make sense is if Lars already had the extortion money, then why did the shipper kill him? Yeah, don't. Do not say that it was to gain control of the genie. I wasn't gonna. Okay, I was. But there is another possibility. Maybe the shipper kept the treasure for himself. Well, then why torture Lars? I mean, what information could he possibly want if he already had the artifacts? Hey, guys, any.